What's up? You just clicked on the right video, because I'm going to teach you how to make the best eggnog. So before I get started, there's two ways to make eggnog, cooked or uncooked. Any store-bought eggnog you'll find is always pasteurized, and that's because there are raw eggs in eggnog, and eating raw eggs is very dangerous. I mean, there's salmonella on them, you're definitely going to want to wash the eggs first. Eating raw eggs is something you definitely don't want to do. You don't want to eat like raw eggs or anything like that. Not bad. That tastes exactly the same as a cooked egg. Why do I cook eggs? So I'm, I'm just gonna kinda. Pretty good. So, you're gonna wanna go ahead and start off with six eggs. You can use egg whites, but if you do, your eggnog won't be as thick. Next up, you put a quart of milk and or whipping cream. This is heavy whipping cream, so. We're only going to put this much in because that's just, wow. That would be some serious eggnog. Put it on in. You're going to want to put a sprinkle of ground nutmeg. Just a little bit, it's pretty overpowering. A little more. For this amount of eggnog, you're supposed to put a cup of sugar, but last time I made it, it was a bit sweet. So we're going to put three quarters of a cup in. This will make your eggnog taste awesome. Brown sugar. Eggnog traditionally calls for brandy, and I kind of prefer it with brandy. The most popular choice nowadays seems to be rum, or you could even mix whiskey, cognac, tequila. Don't, don't use tequila. I'm joking. Don't do that. So in mine, I'm sticking with the classic and doing brandy, although rum is way tastier, so that's why I'm using rum also. So I'm mixing them both. Let's pour a nice good amount of brandy in there. It's gonna be a strong drink. Just a little bit more. And, <laughs> and my giant bottle of Kraken rum. This looks like a lot of upcoming Halloween. Halloween? This looks like a bunch of upcoming Christmas parties. So, go ahead and dump the rum in. Dump it in. There we go. There we go. Thanks to my friend Courtney who recommended I try Kraken Rum. And now it's my favorite rum. Actually, no. Rum Brugal from the Dominican Republic is still my favorite rum, but this is a close second. Really good dark rum, very flavorful, and it goes great in eggnog. Better than Rum Brugal, which is a tropical rum, and goes great in pina coladas. So, where's the cinnamon? That's later. This is proper eggnog. Whoo! What an awesome smell. Uh. Okay, I lost the cinnamon, but that's okay because I will do nutmeg and let's just pretend it's cinnamon for visual effect. Go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of uh, cinnamon right on top, like this. Then you're gonna take a nice, good, rough cinnamon stick, a real cinnamon stick like this. Drop it on in, and you can use it to stir your eggnog. There you have it, the world's best eggnog. I hope. That's so good! So from there, go ahead and pour the world's best eggnog into a really cool eggnog container. Refrigerate it for at least half an hour, get the bubbles out. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment about eggnog, drinks, or drinking. If you follow this recipe, you'll make the perfect eggnog. Cheers!